My name is Sunny Yu Zhang and I'm a senior lecturer in Asian Studies and International Human Resource Management. What we do, uh, human resource management and organisation studies, uh, is actually a very broad area. Um, so if you look at uh, the academics who's uh, teaching on these pathways, they are from all sorts of backgrounds. So myself, I'm, uh, I did economics and uh, Japanese studies. That would say a little bit about uh, this area, is just draw people from different backgrounds to try and understand how to manage people. In second year, we have two electives. And these, I believe, are compulsory courses for people who have already chosen to do human resource management as their um, pathway. Um, but it's also open to any other students who, who want to do it. We have one course in the uh, autumn term, which is called uh, Motivation and Performance. And uh, if you choose to do that course, you're going to learn the psychological uh, background uh, of motivation. Uh, why people want to do things, why people sort of put uh, um, a lot of effort in their work. Spring term we have another elective course called um, Managing Organisational Change. This is more about the interaction between individuals and organisations because if you think about um, companies today, change is probably a constant thing. Look at merger and acquisition or spin-offs and there will be individual consequences, say layoffs or recruiting uh, new employees from a different background. So how do you deliver this change? So it's related to leadership studies and related to organisational change, but we want to uh, look at the, this dynamics. In the third year, students can expect three courses actually, with, but uh, one course would run both autumn and uh, the uh, spring term, that's called International Human Resource Management. This course, you will uh, study the, um, first of all, what are the key differences between different countries when it comes down to managing people and managing teams. So in, in the UK, um, we have a very, um, we put a lot of emphasis on diversity management. And then in Japanese companies, they put a lot of emphasis on teamwork. Why is that? And then in the cases of international merger and acquisition, there will be certain clashes between different organisational culture. How do you develop um, synergy based on human resource management policies and practices? And uh, the other beauty block of the course is about multinational firms. So companies are becoming sort of more boundaryless now. Um, they move across different countries and they, they will need to um, try and have people working in different countries. They're using a lot of uh, international migrant workers nowadays. And what would be the, the best way to approach um, people from a different background? What kind of training program would be most effective? What kind of uh, performance measures would be um, relevant? And the third building block is good work. What, you know, today we have a lot of considerations of being green and being sustainable. But it's, that being sustainable is not just about sort of um, environmental friendly, but also friendly with uh, the workforce. What would be the, the sort of the, the trade-off between um, very strategic and performance-based measures to understand the, the sort of the, the healthiness of the business but also at the same time you know care for the workforce and uh, we have a, a shorter course in the um, autumn term which is called individual at work this course focuses on the uh, individuals and how individuals respond to some of the uh, um, organisational uh, structure. Also individual stress, how to deal with stress and uh, uh, there will be elements of you know, what would be the, the good use of technology and what would be the sort of the, the problems with the sort of introduction of technology. Um, so that's the, the I think individual at work um, course. And in the spring term we have this uh, another course called uh, globalization of work 
this course we don't have any um, sort of formal assessment, exam in terms of assessment, but we wanted to emphasise the very practical element of understanding uh, the relationship between the uh, economic integration between countries and uh, the work elements. Try and understand automation, what are the impact of automation, what are the impact of uh, uh, restructuring, what happens in the um, creative industry and what happens in the, uh, in the sort of logistic industry um, in terms of how work has been changed by globalisation and how people deal with it. Um, so yes, that's uh, the third year courses.